On today's episode, which one should you use? Figma, Adobe XD, does it even matter? Let's rock and roll. Hey everybody, what is up? So if you've been following this channel for the last couple, couple of months, you've been seeing I kind of switched to Adobe XD and that's what I've been covering in the recent videos. And I've shared the reason why I did this basically because I'm using Adobe and I got it for free and it kind of reached the level of the other competitors, right? Like Figma and Sketch and they're all the same. So why would I pay for a different design software if they're pretty much all the same? However, some of you who've been following me on Instagram and if you're not following on Instagram, you can do this using this whatever handle um you've seen that i'm we're working right now on the new website for flax academy and i've been doing this on figma so a lot of people started sending me messages but you just told us adobe xd is so good now you're using figma so why are you using figma and which one is better so here's the thing for this project that we're working on, we're collaborating on it with a few people, right? So there's me, there's another designer working with us, and there's a content writer working with us. So we're all working on the files together. However, our content writer doesn't have Adobe XD or the Adobe, in general, the Adobe um, Creative Cloud installed on her, you know, on her system. So she would need to download it, install it, and pay for this specifically just so we can have her on board. This doesn't really make sense. It's it's much more easier for me to just have a Figma account for all of us. Then she can just use her browser to go in and she can you know write the text for our website without having to work too much. So the truth is that just because Figma is web-based and you don't have to have software installed and some people, you want to collaborate with other people sometimes, that's not always the case, but sometimes you want to collaborate with other people who don't have the software installed, it's much, much easier and seamless to do if you're working on Figma. And that's actually not the first time that it happened to me. A lot of times I've collaborated with even my clients and I wanted the clients to be able to actually change and edit the text of the website while I'm working on the design of things and my clients don't have Adobe XD installed. So to sum up, I don't think necessarily that Figma is better than Adobe XD. I basically think, as I've mentioned earlier, they're all pretty much the same and you can pretty much do everything with the same. So it doesn't really matter. However, in some use cases, you might find one of them more useful. And that's why sometimes I would just switch between them. As I said, they're so similar, it's not very diff difficult to jump between them. And for some project use Figma and other project use Adobe XD. So right now we're gonna be paying Figma as a team account because we need all this team to collaborate on this project. But when that project is finished, we're probably gonna cancel our, you know, cancel our subscription and until the next time we need to collaborate we're just going to keep using on what we have that's free for us which is adobe xd so that's basically how i'm thinking about this it's not that big of a deal i go back and repeat again and again it's all the same so do what's easy for you cheaper for you more seamless for you right now the more seamless thing for us would be to have the whole team working on figma so that's what we're doing right now make the choice for you but come on move along it's not that important anyway i love you do good work regardless of the software that you're using with and make sure that you're subscribed make sure that you're liking this video i'll see you on the next one Bye bye